All right, guys, uh, this is the next factory IO uh, project. We are doing this time, we are working. Okay, let's see, we already did this one, this one, this one, this one, and this two. We're gonna do this one today, and the video uh, for both of them, I'm gonna put it on YouTube, because we already done, uh, we have already done both of them. So let's go ahead and pick the, the scene. Uh, the scene will be the assembler, not the analog, but this one over here, just the regular assembler. Let's go ahead to see the code. The code for that, it has a master uh, program that calls over here. It makes calls for the other subroutine that deals with the, the conveyor. That's a program, separate program for both conveyor. And this one over here for the clamps. And finally, a subroutine for my pick and place. That will be this one right, right over here. So uh, the code over here, as you can see, this is the code. Let me show the code. And this one calls all the other programs. This is, this is the master one, okay? And the HMI is just for the panel, for the enclosure over here that shows the button. We're gonna be uh, programming all this button. We already programmed all this button including the encode, the uh, counter. So the system running bit uh, that do the uh, actual counting and is my uh, push button right over here that resets the lights. Let me go all the way uh, to the bottom so you see the code. This is the code for the stop button, my start button. And at the bottom, this is the code that I get that I uh, wrote for the reset and the emergency. Uh, the conveyor leads, it uh, uses uh, stepping cycles, like always, we do stepping cycle over here. And this one uh, over here deals only with the conveyors. They turn the conveyor on, uh, this code, and when the lead is not seen, it moves to the other run. Then finally, when the, the sensor sees the lead, then the conveyor is stopped and the re everything is reset. Uh, the same thing is for the bases, conveyor base, right over here. Everything is the same with the exception of the actual uh, variable that we are uh, targeting. Uh, the pick and place is a little bit long because it has a lot of uh, uh, movement and motions. So uh, this is my command to start my stepping logic. And my moving Z. I have to monitor those uh, sensors. And then at the bottom, I go down, pick up the, the place or the lid, then go up and get ready for my, this is still my uh, Z move. When I go up, then I'm ready to start my move X. When I move X, I monitor those uh, sensors here for my X move. And then when I'm uh, finally at the other end, I move to my Z, which is uh, these sensors over here. And finally, I reset everything. So this is the code for the pick and, uh, a pick and place. The code for the lid, this is a subroutine, a separate subroutine, uh, pretty much the same as the other one. But this one just deal with the clamping of the parts. <clears throat> so they've got, they have to be held in place Otherwise, the parts will move. Here's the code for the bases. Uh, pretty much the same, same as the leads. So let's go ahead and run the application. Uh, here's my button. Let's put it in run mode. And the uh, selector switch has to be in automatic mode. So let's go ahead and run it. Whoops, it will never run because we have not connected to the POC. So let's go ahead and click on connect here so we can get a connection with the uh, POC. All right, we are online right now and we, all right. So let's go ahead and run it.
looks good. That looks good. Okay, but well what happened if uh hold on one second. What happened if I if I press the start button right now? Let's see what happens. I'm gonna press the start button. Good. So I press the stop button and you notice that the uh, motion continue until the cycle is completed. It doesn't stop right away. It just finishes the current cycle that it was in the middle of. So that's what the stop button in the code is programmed to do. Uh, well, what will happen if I click start again? So this movement and the conveyor, this clamp has to go down, the conveyor has to go uh, move. So let's see if that's exactly what uh, the behavior that we want will happen. Let's go ahead and press the start button. All right. All right, guys, this is it. Uh, this is... Uh... Let me press the start button. Good. All right, uh, that was the entire uh, sequence, the entire code. I believe I didn't show you the uh, last the last uh, program, which uh, was for the lifter bases. So this is the code, <clears throat> and that uh, right now is not running because it finished. Uh, that's it for uh, this program for this project. Uh, we're gonna stop it here, and next time we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one, the next project we're gonna do. It's going to be, uh, let's see, we already done that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, this one, analog. Uh, the uh, difference with this one is huge compared to the digital one, to that one. So thank you for watching. Uh, see you guys next time. And we're going to do the analog next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.